question. Um, the Army Corps of Engineers, I think most people know that we did bring the Army Corps in to help us to a study of the area that just really flooded in Valdosta. Um, the reason for this being is we knew that we had to take some effort and action to see kind of what was happening, just at least locally, because we did have 80 properties that flooded in 2009. Um, we know there was others, but again, you're talking the bigger you get, the more there is in terms of a cost. Um, they did, and release the report is actually online, and um, they did find that while the city system was not what's causing the flooding, obviously, for Valdosta, it's really a regional issue. And when you see flooding all the way from the Gulf of Mexico all the way up to Tiff County, you know there's something wrong. There's changes in weather patterns or something that's happening. So we're really trying to figure out what's going on. That document is online. Everything that we've shared with you today is online if you go to ValdostaCity.com. Um, so we really want people to know that. Um, also, the Savannah District with the Army Corps of Engineers, um, once we have the LIDAR flown, they're actually looking at submitting applications so that we can do inundation maps for Valdosta. Um, that'll be huge for us to really help with notifications because that was a, something that we had to work on. We actually met with Madison County. That was another issue that they were facing is just communication with the public, how to do the proper notifications. Because I think they said right now they're knocking on doors to let people know. Um, so we're trying to find ways, and if we can help other communities find resources or better ways of communicating, we want to do that, as well as tap into their, their resources.